Okay, this is Stormbringer, the Austrian heavy scene. My name is Mike and I'm sitting here with uh, Tommy and Esa from Amorphis Hello. in their very cozy tour bus. Hello, how are you guys? Good, good. Very nice. We've been out touring for over two weeks, so still going good. <laughs> yeah, we just uh, spent a day off here in Vienna. It was really, really fun and really relaxing. Did you see anything worth seeing here in Vienna or just relaxing? Uh, I went to s downtown and uh, did some shopping and uh, just enjoying the views. Yeah, that's <laughs> what you ought to do. Yeah, because <laughs> otherwise you don't survive a tour. <laughs> um, you got a new record out. It's not so new, but it's mm -hmm. just yeah a few months old now. It's called uh, "The Beginning of Times," and it's the tenth album of yours. And it's once more uh, revolving around the Kalevala. Mm -hmm which is a Finnish national epic. Uh, could you tell me a bit more about that? Because people who aren't Finnish don't can mm. imagine what this is like. Well, it's a, a book about old traditions and beliefs, how people used to believe in Finland. And for Finnish people, it's usually uh, it's introduced in school because it, uh, it has a great history about the Finnish written language. The person who complied the book, he was uh, he was one of the creators of Finnish written language, how it is nowadays. So it's a bit boring and, and associated associated as a very boring boring topic if you talk with Finnish people about Kalevala. But um, you know, we took the book back in the early days. Uh, you know, just influential thing for our for our lyrics and with uh, with Tales from a Thousand Lakes, we actually took straight the lyrics out from Kalevala, little stories from there and there, and really didn't thought that much. You know, we thought that you know it fits the music and 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 for us it was interesting mythological themes, and but since since then we've been using Kalevala in 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 different forms and in within our music and and within lyrics. Because there's also, in the world of Kalevala, music is also very much related to the, um, the music represents old Finnish songs, mainly sung by word of mouth with mm -hmm. to, to other generations. So, so, um, so yeah, that's, that's how it started. And in, in a short way, the book is, is it compiles uh, poems and stories about the old Finnish traditions and, and beliefs. And on your website you were asked to um, yeah, to state uh, a character out of this book. How, do, how did you two choose your characters out of this book? Uh, it's now, now the I think last four albums have included a story of a certain character out from Kalevala. But Silent Waters, Skyforger, and and now Beginning of Times. All the lyrics are done by Pekka Kainulainen, and he has mainly come out with the topics and with the characters we are telling about. And of course, I think we gave some wishes and so on. What we wish, but he mainly does his uh, mm. lyrics by himself. He's uh, he's writing the songs, uh, telling the stories out from Kalevala these days by his what he what he thinks about it. So. Yeah. So I think this is about a guy who's very much like Odin in the Northern mythology. I think it's these. Uh, um, yeah, I have to look at my sheet. Vainamoinen, Ve you know. <laughs> yeah, it's like that. And uh, the the whole album revolves about Vainamoinen and his adventures. Yeah, it's like uh, s small stories about his life, and uh, he's he's the main character of the book, and uh, he's a really powerful guy. He. Uh, mm, He's like a wise guy, you know, mm. and uh, yeah, it was a big challenge for us to make an album about Vaina Mönen because, as I said, he's main character and uh, would be really easy to just make a stupid cliche album of the guy. So I'm really happy that we again worked with Pekka Kainulainen because he's really, really into Kalevala and uh, He's a little bit older than we are, and he's not into heavy metal at all. Mm. So he comes, he comes outside the scene. So that's really interesting, also. And uh, but it's not uh, like straight from the book. It's only just the small stories. 
and uh, really interesting stories. And musically, uh, Amorphis has evolved from, a, I think, a death metal band to uh, being a, a dark metal band to, I think, a, a dark rock band nowadays. What do you think? You are the band uh, for 10 years now, I think. You are there uh, since the beginning, of course. But uh, which which style or which which musical niche does Amorphis cover nowadays? I don't know. Is the dark metal right word for me? Dark metal is more like it reminds me a little bit black metal or something like that. And we are not into into that scene. But uh, I, I I see our music. Uh, I always see that there's some some melancholy in it. For me, uh, melancholic music, it's, it's really important. And I think you can hear it from also from amorphous music. But uh, I don't know, maybe we are just a, I don't know, heavy heavy rock metal, but I don't know <laughs> what it is, but. Uh, yeah, it's really hard to categorize. Uh, sorry, I have to sit the uh, other way around because I have to reach the yeah. microphone okay. over there. And <laughs> we cut yeah. that out. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's so, okay. Yeah, it's hard to categorize the, the your own music. Because it also uh, our music includes so many different elements. It's from metal and 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 it has a lot of melodies. So uh, I hate the word melodic metal. It's different than that. that. Uh, but yeah, it's, I think we are metal band. <laughs> I think melodic is a wide range in metal. So yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, in in this ten ten album history of yours, um, which which slot got the new album? Like besides being the recent album, but uh, on, on the scale of all the albums, how do you rate it? I don't know yet. I, I like the album, but I, I I don't know where it, at the end of the day, where it stands among the other Amorphis albums. Um, I think it might take a while to say, <laughs> say but uh, I really do like the album. It's 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 great, great album and, and and includes a lot of elements we like to to tell throughout our music but i can't say in in, in scale where it's going to be among the others but it's the, i think the fourth album in a row you, you've done with the same lineup so that's quite an achievement mm. compared to the older it days when you changed the, the lineup yeah. with every album <coughs> it is definitely definitely um back in the days or between the days there were a lot of albums which musical style changed quite radically and i think definitely one reason is is that uh the the band members changed during that time as well and we wanted to try different things as well and i think that's that's the main reason why there's been quite radical changes in the past but there you know there are still changes i think within every album we've done even though we are together now with the same lineup and we've been using uh, pretty much same production team with these last albums. Uh, of course there are still differences between the albums. So you think it's the arrival of this guy here who changed the whole band chemistry? Well definitely it, it, it had a huge impact for the whole band chemistry when Tommy joined us and, and I think it was a big motivation for everyone in the band as well to, to, to continue hard working so yeah what does the guy say for himself <laughs> the dude. Uh, when i came band uh, um, i think we didn't even have a record deal no no yeah. that's true yeah. and we also got the new management mm -hmm. and also a new singer so there was uh, all kind of things happening at the same time and it was really really interesting and uh, of course it was also a big challenge but uh, I think we manage really well because we have a new now we have a good label behind us and we have a really good management and the band is working really well. We are really good friends and uh, we are really motivated and lots of things have happened during these years. It's I've been in a band like five or six years and we have released four albums and one compilation CD. It's it's been a hell of a ride. Plus uh, life. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we are. We have toured a lot, played lots of shows around the world, so it, it's been it's been really interesting, and I really hope that we will continue with this lineup, not forever, but for many years. Yeah. Mm. And so it was a start all over when he arrived for the band itself. 
Yeah, yeah, in in the way I think. Uh, well, I felt like it's it's been the not new band, but but you sort of found it the good things about the band, and all the all the excitement what it was when we formed the band, and you really understood what the whole thing is about. Um, it, you know, it, before Tommy joined the band, I think it was uh, surviving. Now it was like. <laughs> building up your career again and 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 playing together and having fun with uh, with making the music and rehearsing together and and playing shows and i think that's what it's really about just you know enjoying and having having fun together with the guys i think that's the main thing where usually people form bands mm. that share the same ambitions and 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 share share the same interest for for the music but in uh Two weeks, we will be on a very large boat cruising around <laughs> the Caribbean Sea on the 70,000 tons of metal. And I think this is a new experience for for you too. Yeah, it is. But uh, on the other hand, we played in a ferry like two years ago. Or was it a year ago in, in Finland? Yeah. It's also, it's it's a little bit smaller ferry. Yeah, Sweden Rock Cruise. But no, this is, this is Radio Rock, ah, uh, uh, another one. a radio station yeah, yeah. in Finland. And they are having this ready rock uh, cruise also, yeah. and it's weird because in in Finland it's really famous to go from Helsinki to Stockholm to get drunk mm -hmm. in a ferry, and uh, it was really strange to go to the ferry to play, but it, it was really fun and uh, nice experience, something completely different, you know, and I uh, I think this uh, 70 uh, thousand tons of metal will be the same, you know. Lots of uh, new fans, maybe because there are uh, 40 bands or something. Yeah, 40 yeah. bands, and I uh, think about 2,000 people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I think there are lots of people who haven't seen us uh, before. So it's it's a good opportunity for us also to promote Amorphis. But you know, there is no backstage area. You're just running into the fans every few meters. There, you are aware of that. Can we cancel? <laughs> no, you can go to your cabin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but I think it's it's gonna be, you know, this idea is so stupid to bring metalheads to the cruise. It's so stupid that it has to work, you know. Yeah, <laughs> I think it worked once. Yeah, yeah. So, and there were sex and everything. Yeah. So, yeah. There were, it was, you know, the the cruise we did in Finland. I was basically, I think, the idea is same. You know, there's uh, there was no back, real backstage there, so you know, you you go there and and oh, it's great, you know, you can. Hang around and meet meet some fans, and and I think you know it. Ha it has to work. Everybody who's been on that ship, or, or the bands and so on, they only say that it's good, really good, great fun. So I think the people paid very lo very lots of money to yeah. be on the boat, so they are not the people which hop on you right away when they see you. I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see. Um, hopefully, there's some safe boats to to sail away if it gets too hot. <laughs> I, I like this idea because sometimes some people uh, they are taking music business or heavy metal uh, business too serious, you know. Mm. And this is like, I like this because you can see some metalheads wearing some Hawaii shirts and yeah. shit like that. <laughs> that's that's really cool. You don't have to be like really, uh, uh, really angry all the time or you have to ful have to fulfill some image image yeah. or something. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm l really looking forward to the cruise. Preparing some special set list for that, or just play yeah, your hits. Yeah, your hits. There, there's gonna be two different sets, of course, mm. because we have two shows. We haven't talked about it a lot, but uh, I'm pretty sure that we will yeah. play lots of diff different songs. Mm. What will you do at the uh, 21st of December this year? I think we're going to die with the other people. <laughs> <laughs> and if the world still stands on the 22nd? <laughs> Um, then we're happy. Then we continue touring. <laughs> but I, I'm not going to sit in the the, the roof of, of my house and wait for <laughs> for the world to be end. I'm a little bit scared about it because I just uh, before the tour I watched this uh, Lars von Trier movie called Melancholy, mm -hmm. and it's it's so so sad, sad movie, and it's about uh, it's about uh, the end of the world. It, it's a great movie. And uh, I really hope that uh, our life won't end in that day. What makes me scared is the people that believe the shit. So. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 
but you know we will see who knows maybe <laughs> yeah. we sit around here next year too so yeah yeah <laughs> let's hope so <laughs> so uh yeah for all the people out there stormbringer uh you got some final words because maybe this is the last interview we do with you <laughs> yeah well um i hope you had a good life eh? <laughs> we did i think <laughs> No, yeah, I, I think this this year will be really interesting for for Amorphis, and uh, of course I'm looking forward to summer because I hate winter, and uh, we just got some news that we will have some festivals uh, next summer, and uh, I also hope that we will play some festivals in Europe in summer, and uh, I hope that we will meet lots of uh, fans. I think you will. But how comes uh, you hate winter if you're from Finland? So <laughs> it's winter, yeah, always winter. Skiing. As long as there is snow, it's nice. Yeah. And yeah. now there should be some snow in Finland. It, it's so dark, you know, this this being really bad winter, no snow mm. at all. And uh, when there is where, where when there isn't a s uh, snow, it's so dark all the time. And it gives me depression in a way <laughs> it's like just like you because yeah, 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 yeah. you've seen it <laughs> yeah yeah okay so that's it uh say thanks to the guys and yeah see them around hope the concert is great and <laughs>